Hello my YouTube family, today we're going to make Pakistani homemade bread, prata and roti. You can see pictures here, that's how it turned out. So first we're going to make oven bread. So you need water, wheat flour, all purpose flour, whatever seeds, you. it's your choice if you want to use the seeds, ghee or butter, oil and salt. Let's make the dough. Okay, first you need to put all the flour together. Then you're gonna put in the oil, then you're gonna put in the salt. And when you're, you mix them together, then slowly put in the water. Do not put the inside there too much. Put it in slowly and slowly until it's ready. Then knead it. Then leave it for out for a little while and cover with plastic. Now get some normal flour and make balls out of them. Now we're gonna make the roti. So flatten out the roti and all. Then you can put in butter or gill and spread it around. Then fold it like how. Then you can continue on with the same thing again and again until you run, run out of dough. Now we're gonna turn on the oven grill and then we're gonna put it on for 300 degrees. So half of them you're gonna put in the oven and half of them you can put in the frying pan. It's your choice. And if you want to put on the seeds, you can. Now start flattening it out and rolling it. Continue on watching the video so you know the next part. Now put it on a tray if, you, if it's for the oven one by one now we're going to make it on the pan do not skip this step or else you won't know how to make it so you see now it's a bit high in the oven so now you can put in it in the frying pan for a little while look at the color it's really beautiful and it's also really tasty okay now we're going to make the uh, some more Continue on the same steps, first to the oven, then the frying pan and then it goes in the plate. Oh. Now we're gonna make prata, I will show you how to make Pakistani prata. So first you're gonna put ghee or butter on there, then you're gonna take your dough with no seed and let it set it on the frying pan. Until it turns, it looks like this color, then you can flip it and put more ghee on it or butter. Then flip it again. And when there's lots of brown spots, it, it's ready. You can also put the seeds on there, but it's your choice. You can make so many. Now we're gonna put, make roti. So take a dough, plain dough, and then put it on the um, stove or your frying pan, and let it set. And when it's ready, then you can eat it. It's supposed to look like there's lots of brown spots, mini and big. Now it's time to eat it. You'll see that how soft it would be when you're eating it. Okay, it's now my time to go. So see you next time. Bye.